Tyler Blevins, more commonly known by his online alias Ninja, recently announced he will leave Twitch for Mixer, Microsoft's gaming platform. Twitch currently dominates the video game streaming market, owning 72% of all hours watched. In comparison, Mixer only owns 3%. For his part, Ninja has 14.7 million followers on Twitch and gets about 50,000 views per week. While the terms of the deal haven't been released, it's pretty obvious Mixer paid Ninja generational money, the kind of family money that pretty much guarantees someone's going to rehab. It remains to be seen if Ninja's presence on Mixer can boost the platform's overall viewership numbers, but considering I had no idea what Mixer was before Ninja signed with them, I'd say they're off to a good start. As for Twitch, more on this and other cybersecurity nonsense right now on The Daily Sock. And five, four, three. Last week, Google announced it will be adding voice-free emergency service interactions to select Pixel and Android devices. Google created this feature to assist users in emergency situations where it is unsafe to speak and to help users with speech impediments. The app will allow users to explain their situation by tapping on one of three buttons, fire, medical, or police. Google is expected to release the app in the coming months. Researchers are expecting that fire-related deaths in the mine community will drop dramatically. We asked a mine for comment and he said, Next up, the on-demand food delivery service DoorDash has reached an agreement with Square to purchase Caviar. Not the expensive fish eggs, but another on-demand food delivery service. For a fee of $410 million paid in cash and preferred DoorDash stock, DoorDash drivers can't be thrilled about this deal because now they know that DoorDash always had the money to pay them fair wages. Unfortunately, DoorDash hasn't figured out how to achieve maximum exploitation like other ride-sharing apps. When asked about their new acquisition, DoorDash CEO Tony Zhu noted that your company saves so much money when it doesn't pay its workers. Finally, Apple announced it will suspend a program that paid contractors to listen to Siri voice recordings, some of which were pretty graphic. The program was put on hold after a report from The Guardian revealed that contractors regularly listen to intimate voice recordings, everything from drug deals to sensitive financial information to domestic violence. Over the past few weeks, it feels like every tech company that sells personal voice assistance has run into similar privacy issues. Amazon, Google, Samsung, and now Apple have all collected more audio data than they know what to do with. They're like storm chasers who finally caught a tornado and they're now like, oh shit. Chances are your audio files got sucked up in there and now no one's safe. Signing off, I'm Laura Finelli and this has been The Daily Sock.